Hello Aries, this is your reading for June 2019. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. I hope you guys are doing well in this lovely month of June. Let's see, <clears throat> what love messages do we have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. My Aries. Aries. Okay, the energy that's around you guys is the Knight of Swords energy. Um, this could be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra individual, or this is just all about you guys eager to say something, wanting to say something, wanting to take action, um, take the initiative in something, okay? That's going to um, take you forward into some, some kind of situation that's going to be uh, advantageous for you is what I'm getting here okay let's see what's crossing you guys here the ten of swords this is about feeling stabbed in the back this is Gemini energy here so either you've got somebody um, an air energy around you guys that's really wanting to basically let you know how they feel about a situation where they feel like maybe you guys weren't there for them or they feel like you guys did something that um, they felt betrayed by something like that or this is you guys wanting to speak this to someone else you know it's like I've, I've held my tongue for so long but you know now in order for me to move forward um, to do something different with my life I need to get this off of my chest so I'm feeling like you know either way there is this this um, thought process of wanting to get something off of your chest okay whether you or the other person let's see what the underlying issue is here Oh, the Ten of Cups. Look at this. Look at this. Mm. There is a very um, happy relationship here that I feel like ended. And there is... It, it ended, I feel like, because either one of, or both of you feel betrayed in a way. One of you feels betrayed, I feel, emotionally. Um, the other one feels mentally like um, maybe somebody was emotionally manipulative um, the other person may have felt like the you know you guys for instance were emotionally manipulative um, but you may feel that this person was mentally manipulative but both of you in other words, feel betrayed for one reason or another. This is the issue here. But there was a, a committed relationship that um, is significant here for both of you. It was very happy at one time. But something happened. I don't know if one of you feels like you didn't speak up when you should have or what that um, what this is. Let's see in the recent past here. Four of Wands. Mm. This is a relationship. This is a happy relationship. Even a marriage for some of you guys here. But I feel that a lot of you have gained your... This is your card. A lot of you have gained your stability. Um, whether it's in your home life, whether it's just, you know, emotionally, it's like you're not really overdoing things these days. You're feeling quite comfortable, but I feel like in this connection with this individual that um, it kind of threw you off a little bit. And you, you almost feel like you weren't yourself when you were involved in this situation. But I feel like now that you are yourself or feeling yourself more comfortable, more stable, now you're ready to vocalize and you are able to vocalize um, exactly how you feel, what you want, what you need, um, what you feel like was, was misinterpreted or, you know, how things things felt to you while in this connection with this individual. We have Pisces energy here as well. Let's see what your crowning thoughts are. 
three of pentacles working things out building something here I'm thinking that this is this is you guys basically taking responsibility for yourself your actions and you are willing to put in the work necessary if the other person is bringing the other three of pentacles and they're willing to do just as much not more than not less than but just as much here you're willing to compromise in this situation you're just not willing to sacrifice yourself any longer and I think that's what you're trying to convey or you you're wanting to convey um, because this is a relationship I feel that has the potential to be very happy and long-lasting what's coming in for my Aries six of swords letting bygones be bygones after talking things over coming to an agreement um, just a real balanced energy okay um, where you can say something to someone and they receive it they can say something to you and you receive it you don't necessarily have to agree but you can definitely take into consideration what the other person has going on and vice versa this is being able to move on and you see there's two people in this boat and I feel like this is exactly what's coming in somebody that's wanting to meet you halfway this is an air energy here this is an air energy that's coming in for you guys I feel Aquarius Gemini energy let's see how you're viewing this situation the page of swords definitely wanting to talk about this emotionally fulfilling relationship for some of you guys this is a new person that is coming in for you and what you're actually doing is taking into account um, the past betrayals and you are not really wanting to discuss that with someone but that's in like your forethought okay basically this is what you're not wanting to happen again so that is kind of like what is crossing you in order for you to be able to move forward with someone um, you kind of have to deal with you know past betrayals what has happened before in the past with someone else before you can move forward um, and accept this new person that's coming in for some of you I'm definitely getting that you see a lot of potential in this connection okay Let's see what the oh the influence here is another page of pentacles this is definitely something new definitely something new something very um, grounded I feel something new something that you're just really um, starting spending your time with um, talking about with the page of swords and the page of pentacles learning about you know what makes somebody tick and them you know what makes you guys tick here hmm. your hopes or fears let's see your hope it's a queen of pentacles that you will have like this relationship that's very nurturing okay very nurturing um, very dependable person that comes into your life somebody that's in touch with their feminine side somebody that is very not very emotional but emotional enough they don't lack emotion because I'm getting that you guys were very felt very betrayed before by someone who d was not in touch with their feminine energy somebody that was quite possibly mentally manipulative towards you guys here hmm what is the overall for my Aries the eight of cups you know with this eight of cups a space in this three of pentacles you see that this right here I feel 
is you guys really, really wanting to make things balanced in your life. Um, I think there is something very emotional that that has affected you guys and you are what is the word I'm, I'm trying to think of the right way to say this um, somebody hurt you terribly and I feel like you were hanging on to that for a while but and you didn't really want to allow anyone in because it was like, you know, opening yourself up and being vulnerable, exposing, you know, your inner self and who you are just was not um, something that you wanted to do, something that you were comfortable with. But I feel like now you guys have healed to the point where you are allowing someone else, something new to come into your life. You're ending that emotional turmoil, I feel, um, as far as... Um, not wanting to be hurt again or or feeling that like you're going to be betrayed again I feel like you're leaving that behind and you're willing to come back to revisit possibly being in a committed relationship and being able to compromise and give somebody exactly what it is that they give you without overthinking things and that's where I feel like you guys are at in the month of June. So we have Pisces, Capricorn, um, Taurus, Virgo energy is here, Aquarius, Gemini energy is here. Um, and those are the energies that are present. Does not mean that it has to be those signs, but that's just the energy that's present, you guys. So that is what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.